As we go through the book of Revelation, it's important, I think, for us to recognize what the images and all of these things are doing to us and for us. I think that Richard Baucom actually puts this so well. I read this last Sunday, but I want to reiterate this with you. We should remember that Revelation's readers in the great cities of the province of Asia were constantly confronted with powerful images of the Roman vision of the world, of the American vision, of the American vision of the world. I'm adding that, of the American vision of the world. Civic and religious architecture, iconography, statues, uh, rituals uh, and festivals, even the visual wonder of cleverly engineered miracles in the temples all provided visual impressions of the Roman imperial power and of the splendor of pagan religion. In this context, Revelation, hear this, in this context, Revelation provides a set of Christian prophetic counter images which impress on its readers a different vision of the world, how it looks from heaven, to which John is caught up in Revelation 4. The visual power of the book affects a kind of purging of the Christian imagination, refurbishing it with alternative images or visions of how the world is and will be. Now, the, the thing that is really important about this is that is that we're being bombarded by images all the time. Think about this for a second. Gazillions of dollars are being spent on marketing in, in, in terms of putting images in front of you, in front of you, in front of you, in front of you. Different images than necessarily the ones that are being, uh, that are assaulting, so to speak, the, the people in Asia Minor in the time that Revelation was written. However, those images that we're being bombarded in also need uh, Christian prophetic counter images. They need images that say, no, this is how God sees this, that God sees the marketing muscle, the, the, the oversexed uh, things that are going on in our society that that from heaven's point of view, these images are, are are polluting us. They're hurting us. That the the eroding of our of our sense of moral character personally, and and, and that these images are coming at us over and over and over and over again. And heaven's perspective in this has a different look. And I want to uh, to begin to think about this idea that as we go through Revelation, it's going to assault our images in our culture in what is being inculcated, it's being impressed and influenced into us the same as it was for them.